Hello everybody, Jake here for FM Scout, and in today's video I'm going to be taking you through my personal Wonderkid Dream 11 so far in Football Manager 21. This is going to include some of the expensive Wonderkids as well as some of the bargain Wonderkids too, and I want you guys to let me know down below in your comments what is your favourite either Wonderkid or preferably a whole 11 of Wonderkids that you have found in FM 21 so far, so like the video and subscribe for all of the best Football Manager content, and let's get into the video. Yes guys, so here we go with my Wonderkid Dream 11. We're going to go position by position of course and I'm using kind of like a 4-2-3-1 because that's what I tend to have played with so far in FM21. So I'm going to go through each position, my favourite player in there. Again, you guys might have different opinions but that's what we want to hear in the comments down below. I'm not saying any of these are super cheap or super expensive or super available. It's just my personal choices of my favourite Wonderkids. So with that being said, let's get into the first player as we start off with the goalkeeper. Okay, so for the last couple of years in FM, I've found it quite hard to find a really good Wonderkid goalkeeper that always ends up being a good player. Now we've had Van der Voort seems to be the highest potential one in recent years but I've never been too keen on him. He doesn't turn out amazing. He sometimes does and he sometimes doesn't so it's a bit of a gamble but from what I've seen so far obviously he is a bit older so that's why his development is more concrete but Ilan Melier of Leeds I think he's really became prominent in this football manager. He has recently joined Leeds for about five minutes and I think he's done okay for them in real life too. But this guy is for sure my favourite Wonderkid goalkeeper, more just because of lack of competition to be honest, but he's good physically, he's good mentally, and he already has some great goalkeeping attributes. Really tall as well, which I like in my goalkeepers, I just find like it makes them better in game. And he is someone that I've came up against so many times and he always performs really well against me. His reflexes seem to be really good and there you go, yeah, he's got 16 reflexes, that's probably why. But he's always making these like cat-like saves. And he can be very hard to beat and pretty much every save I've played in Football Manager so far, he goes on to overtake Hugo Lloris as France's number one goalkeeper. Most of the time he does stay at least to be fair, so if you guys can get your hands on him, go for it. But I think he will cost you a fair bit of money, but you can probably see why. He's one of them that's already kind of set in stone that he's going to be a good goalie. And that's why I've gone for Melier as my number one goalkeeper. Okay, so the next player I'm showing in this list is my right back choice, Reese James. And I know you're all thinking, 22, that can't be a Wonder Kid. Well, this is actually a couple years in the future in my Chelsea save, which if you want to check that out, feel free to check the link to my channel in the description. You guys have recently got me up to a thousand subscribers on there, which I'm super, super grateful for, but I don't stop there. I'm going to keep going. So if you want to check out a Chelsea save that loads of people seem to have enjoyed so far, then feel free. And we've also got a new series on the way, which I won't reveal yet, but subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out when we eventually start it. It's going to be a very interesting one let's put it that way but here we are Reese James with Chelsea two years in the future and I think you can all see why I've picked him he is one where I think a lot of people will go he's not really a wonder kid because he's already broke out but if their media description says wonder kid I'm going to keep him in this list and he starts off as 20 years old as a wonder kid for Chelsea and he is always in my say is one of the best right backs in the world and we can see here with Chelsea even though you shouldn't trust star ratings too much the fact that he's got 16 pros zero cons and is classed as the best player at the club kind of shows why I picked him here. He is phenomenal both in-game and just attributes wise, like physically perfect, mentally really good for a 22 year old, only gonna get better. Like defensively, he puts in a great shift, but offensively he's so good too. And if we actually look at his few seasons that he had for us, season one, he hit a 7.5 average match rating. Season two, he hit a 7.66 average match rating, getting more than 10 assists in each season. And even though we only did two seasons in this save, he got English Football of the Year, English Player of the Year, English Young Player of the Year, named in the Champions Cup Dream Team, Team of the Year, Team of the Week, Young Player of the Month, pretty much everything he could have won, he did in his few years at Chelsea. And no spoilers for the series, but we do go on and do pretty well across our two seasons. And Rhys James was one of the biggest parts of that. And I think arguably he was one of our best players in the save. He was our team captain. He's perfect in every way in my eyes, Rhys James. And I think he's going to be really good in real life too. So Rhys James takes the right back spot for me. Okay, so onto the centre back spots. And you'll notice we're in the future yet again. Now, what if I told you you could sign this centre back for about £1 million? Well, you can. It's Nomadi Collins from Borussia Dortmund, the German. I think he starts off as 16 years old. Wasn't really on my radar until I did a Wonder Kid to Superstar episode on him where if you don't know we simulate the growth of a few years and see how he gets on and I think we can all agree he has turned out to be an absolute monster and since then for me he's been a must sign in every save if I can get him at the start of a save I will just because physically he's pretty much impeccable mentally he's great too in terms of everything that he needs for a centre back he's got it and then technically he's got 15 passing 16 technique and combined with a 19 vision people thought I'd like cheated and changed his attributes because he's just such like a good ball playing defender I genuinely hadn't we just put his potential up to the higher end of his range 
and he just shone and he did this with Chelsea. He became one of the best centre-backs in the world by the age of 22. And as I say, since then, he's been a must-sign for me. And I think for the price you can get him for, he should be a must-sign for you guys too. What a player Nomadi Collins turned out to be. A bit of a goal scorer too. 16 heading, 18 jumping reach at six foot three. Scored plenty of goals. Now, he's not always going to turn out like this, but I think for a million pounds, you can see in his first season anyway for Hertha, he ended up getting like a seven rating across a whole season. Bear in mind, this is a 16, 17 year old who we just instantly signed for a million and hadn't even developed by that point so yeah he, he's a top player in the Maddie Collins if you can get him grab him and that moves us on to a similar thing with the next centre back and it wouldn't be an FM21 Wonder Kid list without Andrea Papetti, the 18 year old Italian centre back starts off as a really strong centre back and the best thing about him he can be signed for free straight away using the approach to sign option of course with a bit of compensation it usually costs you around two to three million pounds but much like Collins he's one of them where if I've got a bit of a transfer budget at the start of a save I'll just try and get him in straight away even if I don't plan on using him and he pretty much always turns out to be a world class centre back. He's only six foot one but it doesn't seem to get him down too much I mean if you partner him with the likes of someone like the Maddie Collins you're going to have a really really good team. I don't think much needs to be said about Papetti just because of the fact that I think everyone does sign him in Football Manager now but if you didn't know about him here you go I mean you can see mentally technically physically already very good at the age of 18 ends up being an Italian national team starter consistently throughout his career usually plays for a top team in Europe so I don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't buy Papetti for the couple of million pounds it'll cost you at the start of a save if you can afford him then get him Andrea Papetti slots in as the second centre back in my Wonder Kid Dream 11 and here we are on my Chelsea save again this isn't a plug I promise Nuno Mendes had to be in the list for me and I thought what better way to show him off than to show how good he was for us in his two years at the club I think he actually signed for us in the second season but obviously we are two years in the future here. So how's he got on? He is one of the wonder kids in this list that will cost you the most amount of money up there with someone else who we're going to bring up later. Sport in Lisbon know how good of a player they've got on their hands. I mean, by the age of 18, he's usually already a international starter and we can see why. Physically excellent, mentally excellent. And then he's good going forward and defending too. Pretty much everything you can want from this guy. He's another one that everyone already knows about. He's still got potential to grow here. There's at least another two or three years of really big growth left in Nuno Mendes here. He was really superb for us in the season that we did sign him. Obviously, Reese James was doing bits on the right and Nuno Mendes on the left with six assists, six player for match awards and then 7.27 across the seasons and in his first season at Sporting where he basically starts off hitting a seven average match rating near enough in his first season so you know he's going to be good straight away I think everyone already knows that we did have to pay a decent fee for him in the second season although I would argue 35 million is not that bad at all I think usually 30 40 million is what you'd have to pay for this guy but considering you'll never have to buy another left back again if you can get him I think there's no reason not to go for him. He's my favourite left back on the game and he's going to be a must sign for me if I ever have the cash for him. Obviously, I know your guys' Wonder Kid Dream 11 in the comments is going to be a bit different to mine, but I imagine Nuno Mendes is going to feature quite a lot purely because of a lack of left backs on this game and the fact that Nuno Mendes is so clear for me ahead of the rest of them. And sticking in my Chelsea save, two years on again, so this guy will be 17 when you start your save. It's the last player from my Chelsea save, I promise. I'm really not trying to plug it, but I thought what better way to show him than when he's looking like this. 19-year-old Eduardo Camavinga, now capped for the French national team, like I say, starts off at around 17, 18 years old. Physically, again, absolutely excellent. Mentally, really, really strong for a 19-year-old and technically is obviously where he shines. He's going to feature in my two-man midfield in the centre of the park. An absolute workhorse who can do the tackling and the physical battling in the midfield alongside some really good technical attributes with the likes of a 16 passing, 15 vision and 16 first touch, which means he can just like play the midfield, dictate it all for you and just be the pin that ties the defence to the midfield and just gets the ball rolling as you start to play the ball up the pitch. He's the most expensive wonder kid in this list. We got him in the second season for around 80 million I think you can get him for cheaper than that but Renz really didn't want to part with him he wasn't amazing for us but it was only his first year in the Premier League but we can see purely based on his attributes I know how good he is I know how good he's been on Football Manager for years and in real life football too he's classed as one of the biggest young prospects in the world so it's no surprise really that Kamavinga features on my list now for my other central midfielder, I'm going for Yunus Musa, the American international playing for Valencia. Starts off at only 17 years of age and with the right mentoring and training, he can grow into one of the best midfielders in the world. There's not really an area that he lacks in physically, mentally and technically. He's got really good attributes all around with room to grow, of course, at the age of 17. He's just really balanced in the way that his attributes are set. So he has pretty much the same defensive side as he does the attacking side. So you can kind of mould him into whatever kind of player you want. Always goes on to be a superstar for me and him alongside Kamavinga. I think as a Wonderkid central midfield pairing, 
probably doesn't get much better than that. So I'm going to go for Yunus Musa again. This is only my personal choice. I know there are plenty of players that have high potential. Like, you know, I could have gone for Kamavinga and Gravenberg or something like that. But I've gone for Musa just because he's one of my favourites. So he's going in this list. And that is my two-man central midfield. I am going for a 4-2-3-1. So starting in the attacking midfield position for me is Burak Insay. I did a Wonder Kid Superstar episode on this guy too. And he blew up into like one of the world's best players by the age of 21-22. And you can already see that here at the age of 16, the Turkish player has really really good technical attributes alongside some nice physicals and mentals that do need a bit of work but he is only 16 of course. He's a really good passer of the ball with good passing, vision and technique and he really does develop fast. He plays for Turkish club out in Ordu who I believe are in the second league of Turkey. Yeah I think that's right and you can actually sign him for quite cheap if we look here his club would want around three to six million pounds for him. We managed to get him for about three to four million if I can remember right and he ended up going on and being a world-class player before he'd even reached like the peak years of 25, 26, 27. So I think purely for his availability and the fact that he can be signed for most teams I'm going to say Burak and say of course if you're playing in like league 2 non-league you're not going to have the money to buy him but the fact that you can attract him from this league without too high of a reputation I think is really good so Burak and say is my attacking midfielder in my team starting on the right for my dream 11 is Yusuf Demir another one that I did a wonder kid to superstar episode on but this one I wasn't surprised by it like I'd seen him be really good in saves linked with like 200 million pound moves only a couple years in so I knew he'd be a good player that's why I did the wonder kid to superstar video and we were kind of backed up by the fact that I didn't even have to put his potential at the high end of his range for him to turn out into a really good player he starts off at rapid Vienna the Austrian does and he does usually cost quite a lot I mean you can see there even if we knock that down it would probably still be about 30 million pounds for him not Eunice Moose so why has it got back to him let's go back to Demir Yusuf Demir there we go back onto Demir and physically again another strong player with good technicals and good mentals alongside some really good traits early on too like moves the ball onto his left foot likes the ball played into feet likes to beat his man cuts inside from the right wing he's pretty much perfectly suited to an inside forward or an inverted winger role I think in real life he was actually linked with a move to Liverpool so it does show that he is attracting interest in real life too and is hopefully going to be one of them football manager wonder kids that actually goes on to reach their potential which doesn't always happen so Yusuf Demir is my right winger and now we've just got striker and left winger left okay so my left winger might seem like a bit of a weird one we've gone for Jakob Kaminski on the left side he can play on the right side too but for the fact that I had Demir in the team I figured we could put him on the left side now again I am aware that there are probably plenty players better than this but for me Jakob Kaminski is someone that I've used I have a Mansfield save where I'm years in the future I didn't manage to get him while he was a wonder kid but we've got him when he's about 23 24 and he's a really really good player for us like I say he's not crazy compared to some other wonder kids like if you look at him physically technically and mentally yes he's good but there probably are better but again it's just personal preference it's someone that I like to use he does come from Lech Poznan in Poland which it's a great team of course but you can attract him to your club if you're in like the top five leagues or a league like Portugal or Holland somewhere with a bit more reputation he's not super cheap like you will have to pay a decent amount of money for him and that's because I believe at the start of a save he has just signed a new deal so you will have to wait a little while to get him but if we were to make an offer here let's see what they'd want around 7 million again you could probably knock that down to about 4.5 if you wanted to I won't try but you get the idea he's not one that's going to really break the bank and I think he still turns out to be a really good player and he slots in on the left side for me and that just leaves striker but before we get into that if you haven't done it yet don't forget to hit the like button and comment your Wonder Kid Dream 11 down below and I've already mentioned it but don't forget to subscribe to FM Scout and let's get into my choice of striker now I've got to give an honourable mention to Erling Haaland who again was one of them in my Chelsea save who was absolutely fantastic but Matthias Arezzo has been one of my favourite players in Football Manager since last year when I got him on a free deal on FM20 with my Vitesse save. Bit random, but he's just someone that I've really liked since then. And I think in this Football Manager, he's really came into his own. I think everyone tries to sign him now just because of how easy he is to get at the start of a game. Playing for River Plate and not the Argentinian one either, where it might be a bit harder to prime from. He's playing in the Uruguayan divisions, which I'm sure it's good. But again, you're going to have more pulling power if you're in the top five leagues of Europe or that kind of thing. So you can usually get him for quite cheap early on. You can see here about £1.5 million for him. And even though he's 17, he's already a top level striker. Like he's got some good physical attributes. He's really determined and he isn't just one of them like quick strikers that can score. He can also win the ball in the air and score headers. He can score long shots. His passing's already decent. He's got good technique. He's composed in front of goal for a 17 year old. He's aggressive. Pretty much everything you can want in a striker, Matthias Arezzo has, and he's super cheap too, so you can't go wrong with this guy. You've got to get your hands on him if you can straight away, and I think he's one that a lot of people will agree with. Of course, everyone's got their own favourite striker, but I don't think anyone would say, why have you got Arezzo in here? Just because, yeah, £1 million for this, of course you're going to do it. So Arezzo is the starting striker in my 4-2-3-1 Wonderkid Dream 11, and that'll be the end of today's video, guys, so don't forget to check out my channel if you'd like to, link in the description, don't forget to like, 
subscribe, and of course, comment your Wonder Kid Dream 11 down below so everyone can compare, look at it, find some new Wonder Kids. Who knows? Maybe you just want to show off your Wonder Kid Dream 11. So if you want to do that, feel free, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.